down here on the floor making a box for this coffee pot. This is a bun. I bought them. I mentioned it on another video. But I bought two of these at an auction. They're brand new. The other one I sold as an open box because it was the one they opened to take the picture for their auction. This one's brand new. But I don't want to send it out just like that. I want to put another box around it, and that's what I did last time. So I went down to the dumpster where I get furniture and found this great big huge piece of cardboard. And I cut this section out right here that I needed. I had this drawn up from the last time. Boop. And so I just drew it out on here. And now I'm doing the finishing touches before I glue this tab. I have some spray glue. And, uh, come on, focus. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I was getting up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, little, little, little. yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so you got to have yourself one of these tools, and many of you probably do, for putting in screens. But the one side, and you're not going to see it on this video, probably. That one has the groove. I use this end. It's just rounded. And then I can go along here. And make a nice groove. It, ma it makes it groovy. It makes it a lot, e lot easier to make a box. So I just gotta finish up this side and then finish up that side and then we'll glue it together. All right, we're just gonna take some of this glue and we're going to. This isn't the good stuff. You want that 3M high 90? That's the good stuff. I don't know if any of you guys would remember several years ago I bought a I bought a 55 gallon drum of 3M high 90 strength glue for $15. I hauled it home in my minivan laying down. I had called down there and asked them if I could transport it laying down. I didn't have a trailer available at the time because on the way down there with the trailer the axle went out on it. Anyway, they said well the last person uh, did. You might want to just bring a wrench and tighten the lid down on the drum just to be sure. So I did. And, uh, and I hauled it in here. Took it up there into the house and put it in the closet and there it sat until I sold it on eBay. Paid 15 bucks plus fees, whatever. And I sold it for $300. It was worth brand new, and it was, but it was, had a, a date on it, wouldn't that figure? And the person that bought it knew, but you know, it was worth like two or $3,000 new. And I didn't care, you know, 300 bucks, 300 bucks. I had a semi come, I had it strapped down to a skid, and away he went. So, you know. So we want to wait for that to dry and then fold that over. And put on some pressure. And what I will do is tape over it. So actually what I like to do, and I've probably got enough on there, but we'll just make sure, is... I get a little extra because that makes the tape stick real good. I actually need to do the other side as well. And, uh, for the tape, you know. It just helps it. Because there's a lot of dust on the box and junk from being here in the garage. And stop. Mm. I'm making a mess. Okay, well, you don't need to see all this. Okay, so I have the uh, lip folded over. I've got her taped really good. 
I don't think that's going anywhere. Now I'm going to flip it up here. We'll call this upside down. Oops, it's not bending in the right spot. Hang on. I didn't measure my flaps good enough. The first box, it turned out really good. So what I'll do is on the inside, I'll put, well, I'll put a base in there anyway for padding and protection so that that won't matter. But I'm going to finish taping that up and flip it over and then we'll, we'll stick that in there. I don't know if it's going to fit. I'm going by my first drawing and it worked the first time. So we shall see. I used my utility blade, utility knife to cut this quarter inch stuff. And in the bottom of that, I've got a sheet of like one inch foam. And then I put this down for a base. There, now you can see what it is. Huh. What are you doing? It, it's not that cold out. Oh. Well, you guys are just standing there, though. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll put this inside here. All right. Now all I got to do is go down to the dumpster and find some styrofoam sheeting to stick in there. And then over the top. But that's what I do to pack something as delicate as this. Because I want to get there safely. This is going to be going FedEx. They're about the cheapest way to go right now. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I've not got any feedback yet from any customers uh, how the packages look. But I try to pack real good. This one right here has a chainsaw in there. And I'll tell you what, that thing's in there real good. Just got back from the dumpster, and I found the perfect packing material. I don't know what to call it. I call it the honeycomb cardboard. And a recliner. Hmm. Pretty nice. The only thing wrong with it is the ratcheting deal. When you kick back and it's supposed to ratchet and lock in place, it don't do that. So, I uh, believe there was another Lazy Boy down there. I'm going to find out where that mechanism is. If it's something that I can replace just by robbing parts off another chair, I'll do that. But it's a nice chair otherwise. Okay, so look at all of this big thick stuff. Cut it to size, slide it right down in there. Mm-hmm. That's what we're going to do. All right, she's packed in there good. Now, we'll just take this one, put it there, and, uh, yeah, we'll finish tape. Taping her up. This thing, focus. Uh, it's been several days since I did that, but, I mean, there's the box. And then I had pointed out the chainsaw in there. And as I was downstairs working on the video, some feller from at Glen PA was asking about it. And uh, so I'm hoping to hear a cha-ching on my phone. Wouldn't that be funny if it happened right now? <laughs> All right. Well, um, oh. Um, I, I suppose that's the end of this video, so have yourselves a goodie.